Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. Sometimes, now it's not bad to go after the best yield you can get, but people who, who I hope, you know, there's a term, yield chasers, right? Where, hey, I'm not going to do anything until I make 12%. In the meantime, they make 0%. They wait six months to get in a deal. And we're not even, hopefully it's a safe deal, right? It's not risky. Uh, and um, so, then, so then they have their money working at 12% for the last half of the year and then it pays off and they're sitting around waiting again for the next deal that downtime so most people that are lending money unless unless you can churn these around like there's a deal waiting right afterwards your your average yield is going to be you know if it's only working for you half the year so in that case you'd be making six percent right right Right. Or, or if you're only down three months, okay, great. You're making 9%. So that's why I think the short term product, you know, some of these short term loans can be a great way to diversify your portfolio. But a lot of people, if you can, if you can stretch your mind and say, look, I'm willing to go longer and I'm willing to let my money just grow at a very passive seven, you know, eight, 9% return, you're still going to do just as good with a lot less work with a lot of potential benefits of being willing to go longer with your money. Does that make sense? Yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. You've been listening to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh. For more, please visit notequeen.com.